So um, this video is supposed to come out on Monday, but in reality, it's actually um, it's got to be close to 3 a.m. or so on Sunday morning. And I just got home from celebrating the birthday of one of my very dear friends in little Osaka, of all places. Very cool. Really nice night. Um, but I've had a lot on my mind, and I, and I know that, you know, kind of um, being, you know, more visible and whatever traction, you know, my work is getting and stuff, which I really don't think is much. I mean, um, I have to kind of be visible publicly more and... and you know, there needs to be content and stuff like that. Plus, you know, I, I find that um, updates and, and things like the one I'm about to give are a lot easier to say than to type. And I really don't think anybody wants to sit there and, and look at, you know, a wall of text. I mean, you either have to look at my face or a wall of text. It's really the lesser of two evils, if you think about it. So let's recap, shall we? Nam was insane. Um, not insane bad. Uh, it was insane good. It was the busiest show I've ever had, and um, I don't even know really where to begin with it, honestly, but uh, I was there on behalf of an excellent company, Diffusion Audio, who handles um, Two Notes Audio Engineering in North America, and also uh, Sandberg Guitars and Basses in North America, but I was there, you know, mostly for Two Notes, and uh, I've known, you know, Mike and Andy and uh, Mark and, and them, you know, for a bit now. And, and honestly, it's just, it's so humbling and it's just, it just is a privilege for me to, to help out in any capacity those guys. They've been so gracious and supportive of my work and, and my, you know, using their, their product and stuff. And um, so, you know, when somebody gives me an exhibitor badge for a trade show like that, I... I, you know, it's my duty, kind of, to help them out in any way they need. You know, most people, I think, don't really care, which is understandable, because, I mean, it's a, it's a big show, and everybody's preoccupied, but, no, I, I owe those guys a lot. They're great people. They run an excellent operation, and I really just cannot thank them enough. Um, this was a really crazy show. I mean, I performed for the first time, really, at the show, and I don't mean like I tried out an, an amp or something, and people just came over and stood around me. I mean, it was sexually supposed to happen and and uh did happen and we did it and um it was really all the doing of one of my very close friends and uh and also a newer and close friend and somebody who's been very supportive of me um so Sean and uh and Christopher thank you guys so much i uh it was just a breakthrough weekend as far as that goes um and I also really need to thank um, the videographers and the photographers who captured, um, you know, the booth performances. And also there's a, another thing that we shot as well. Um, so my friend Herman, you know, uh, you saw his photos and stuff on Facebook. That was really cool. And he's got video too, I think. And Sean has video. But um, Helen Craighead and uh, Chris Yates were professionals that were called in to document the show and document the goings-on at the Rockbox booth um, and in their private demo room, you know, where I recorded and performed both places. And so um, everything I've seen so far, they did an amazing job. There couldn't have been nicer people. Really, I mean that. I mean, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm generally thought of as, as kind of a dick. And so, I mean... Um, I'm very surprised still, like, when anybody's outwardly that nice to me um, these days. But they were just the kindest people and um, really made me feel very comfortable and very welcome. So, I mean, it was a crazy show. There were so many people I didn't get to see and so many people I wanted to see who I hadn't met in person for the first time, you know, anywhere. So I didn't get to do that. But um, I was all over the place. I was doing all kinds of stuff. I had all kinds of people to meet with, you know and people to see about certain things. I mean, I, it was, it was, it was go time, really, you know. Every year it's always a schmooze fest, and every year I'm always kind of, like, introducing friends to friends and introducing friends to gear people, but this time it was kind of about me. And, um, you know, the last two or three years has really been about that. It's been about my music and, and stuff, unexpectedly. But, you know, what they say, I mean, out of the most incredible of calamities sort of comes... I guess, 
beautiful or you know great things or nice things or however you want to say it but um things have been good i have a lot less reason to be the negative person that everybody seems to think i am all the time so on to um music news i decided officially there had been conflicting you know posts and stuff about what i was going to do but um there is going to be an ep coming this year um, and by this year, I actually mean within the first half or even quarter of this year. And the EP is going to feature two full vocal songs that were removed from the Detested record from 2014, and also an alternate version of one of the songs from that record as well, which was removed because it was too happy. I know, it's, it's, that's really why. I mean, I'm not, I'm not joking. That's really why I took it off. So I rewrote an alternate version of that, which is the one that you hear on the record. And there's going to be two entirely new songs as well, and they're going to be very dark and very pissed off and very ruthless, you know, very much in keeping with, with Detested and whatnot. Um, and basically the way I look at it is, you know, this is kind of the last bit of this that I have to give at the moment, as far as music that's that dark and that, you know, aggressive and whatnot, and so... Um, you know, there's stuff people haven't heard yet. I think they'll probably want to hear it. Some people will want to hear it. And there's a pretty cool cast of characters involved in this so far, um, especially in the vocal department. And, uh, yes, by the way, I finally got people that was all taken care of. I didn't, I didn't get screwed over like I, like again and again and again, like last time. But, uh, yeah, so that's good. And, um, I'm actually, I'm writing it now. I'm writing the new stuff now. It's going on. I didn't want to make a video about it until I was actually working on it, but it's happening now. So it's good. The title of the EP actually is is a take on one of the transition tracks from the Detested album. There's a track on there called Impossible Machinations, and so this will be called Additional Machinations. And it'll be five songs, and I think it'll probably be digital only. So catch as catch can um you'll be able to get it on Bandcamp and cd baby and all that stuff and um you know i just something i want people to hear you know and that kind of brings me to the next part of what i was going to talk about which is the future um i know that's like a real broad kind of you know self filating stupid thing to be like the future but um you know things are are very different than they than they've been and I have a lot less of a reason to be upset all the time, and I have a lot less of a reason to go on Facebook and make these brutal cutting posts. I mean, you have to understand that some of that is sort of a shtick that I kind of play up because I know people find that funny, but some of it is really me kind of, you know, being very inappropriate. And so um, it's not that I need to cut back, it's just I don't have as much of a reason. I'm just not as pissed off. And I'm, I'm not as negative these days, oddly. Um, things have been good, and there's going to be more music. You know, when all that stuff went down in 2012, and it caused me to end up making Detested, you know, it was a door that basically was swung back open for making music, for making my own music again. And, and um, it's looking like right now, at least, that that's going to stay that way. I'm going to keep making music, and I'm going to keep creating things, you know, that I, that I want people to hear, that I want to share with people. Um, and I, you know, there's been more visibility and, you know, a lot of people have been so nice to me and, um, so supportive of the things that I've been doing already. And it, it's, it's very overwhelming and, um, I'm really grateful for it. And I, I don't really know what to do, you know, because I, I carry a lot of regret about a lot of things. And I mean, I've, I've done a lot of really stupid and spiteful things in the past that I, I'm definitely still paying for with, with people, some people in, in music. And, you know, I would sit here and say something like, oh, well, nobody's perfect, you know, and, and that's just a cop-out, like, you know, we're, I'm talking about me, you know, I'm not talking about everybody else. And, and when I make mistakes or when I do something that I know is not good, you know, it, it sticks with me all the time. It keeps me up at night, which is odd because everybody knows how much I sleep, but, uh, you know. It's, it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time, and I'm looking at it positively, but I'm also scared as hell. 
because, you know, it's a big leap. You know, I was living like a hermit, making records for people for the last 10 plus years. So I wasn't really playing as much. I wasn't really making any of my own music. So this is all kind of reactivated and I'm having a good time. Um, granted, I mean, I, it was definitely a, a lot of shaking the cobwebs off, especially when it came to performance. I mean, I don't really care what anybody says, but the performances I gave at NAMM I hated. I thought they were awful. And that's me talking, so, I mean, you know, a lot of people are disagreeing with me and they're saying I'm too hard on myself, I don't really care. I have to hold myself to some kind of a standard, and it might as well be mine. Because, I mean, at least when I produce artists, I would never let anybody suck as much as I sucked at the show. But it was very nerve-wracking, it was a new thing, and, and it was kind of a trial by fire. Um, which I'm still just... I can't even tell you how grateful I am for that still. So, um, expect more music, and expect more creations, either for other people or for me, you know, and um, I'll try and be more active, if I can, you know, with media and the internet and Instagram and Facebook and stuff. I'll try and keep people up to date. Um, I'm not a very sort of public person with a lot of this stuff. It's just kind of the way I am, and it's a lot to maintain, so just bear with me. But um, I'm looking forward to the future. Um, not everybody's going to like what I do. Not everybody likes me, that's for sure. But I am just very happy um, and excited to be able to make things and create art and share it with you. And um, if you dig it, that's great. And if you don't dig it, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> but um, I'm sure that this video has gone on for way too long. So I'm going to sign off now and just say thanks to everybody who is involved with me and what I do. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. There'll be updates coming on the new EP as that happens. And before that releases, or right after that releases, which, by the way, it's looking like April, May right now, There'll be a huge couple of announcements coming after that concerning more new music. But, you know, we'll take it, take it slow and see what happens. Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Anyway, I've been talking at you for far too long, so please um, go do something nice, read a book, watch Netflix, watch Making a Murderer. It's awesome. It, it, it's, it's stunning. But anyway, um, just have a good night. Have a nice time. Have a, you know, do fun things. Go be with your family. Um, I'll see you soon.